This is Geometry Lesson 1-7 using a dy dynamic geometry system, DGS. You're going to hear that acronym, DGS, but you also hear the acronym CAS. Many of you have our TI Inspire CAS calculator. And that's what we're referring to when in this textbook you see dynamic geometry system or DGS. The first part of this lesson is made up of many activities. We will do all of these activities in class and we will spend a great deal of time getting acclimated with your calculators and how it's going to work how it's going to work in our geometry course. And as you worked work with those activities, the concept of the triangle inequality postulate is going to come about. So I'm going to read it here. We're going to do a couple problems based on what you see here, but we, were going, we are going to expand on that in class as we do the other activities involving our new calculators. So the triangle inequality postulate is the sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the length of the third side. So using the triangle at the right, this relationship means that that we have three inequalities to be true. So if AB here is 7 and AC is 5, these two sides together are 12. So BC, can BC be 8? Let's see. Is AB greater, or AB plus BC greater than AC? Let's see. AB is 7 plus BC, which is 8. Is that greater than 5? Yes. Let's test it with BC. If BC is 8 and AC is 5, is that greater than AB, which is 7? Yes, it is. And let's try the last one. AB is 7 plus AC is 5. Is that greater than our BC, which is 8? Yes. So those three values for the sides of this triangle do work with our triangle inequality postulate. So I'd like you to try the example here. Can 12, 32, and 20 be the lengths of the sides of a triangle? Why or why not? Stop the video, give it, give it a try, and then start the video when you are f finished. Let's look here. Take the first two sides. 12 plus 32, is that greater than 20? Yes. Is 32 plus 20 greater than 12? Yes. Is 12 plus 20 greater than 32? No, it's not. It is equal to 32. So that does not follow our triangle inequality postulate that states that the sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the length of the third side. That does not satisfy the postulate, so therefore this is not a triangle. As I said before, we will do more work with the triangle inequality postulate as we discover or as we discuss and work through the different activities stated in this lesson. This concludes Lesson 1-7.